out now on the web. Will the Astros bring back? Nobody waited for that. If you are a faithful fan of the Houston Astros, the biggest team in the United States, and don't want to miss first-hand news, don't forget to subscribe to the channel now, because I'm following all this news, and will bring you first-hand updates. With Yuli Gurriel hitting free agency, the Houston Astros have a gaping hole at first base in their lineup. As things currently stand, the club would begin 2023 with two unproven players splitting time at the position in J.J. Matajevic and catcher Yaner Diaz. Ken Rosenthal of The Athletic mentioned in a recent column that the San Diego Padres are also pursuing of the player services on the free agent market. To further muddy the waters, player himself seems to be intrigued by the possibility of playing for one of MLB's two Florida teams. The player certainly did his part in 2022 to secure what could be a multi-year deal in free agency. In 157 games, the premier slugger hit 15 home runs, a low number by his standards, but still managed a .304 batting average and an OPS plus of 133. In each of the past two seasons, he has managed a walk rate over 9%, easily the best of his career. This past season, he struck out in just 16% of his plate appearances, showing that even if his power numbers dipped a bit, he has still proven to be one of the game's most valuable first basemen. Fangraph's roster resource has Garrett Cooper penciled in at first for the Marlins in the upcoming campaign. Cooper, 31, was worth just one B-war last season, hitting just nine home runs and striking out in 25% of his plate appearances. In order to not miss the latest first-hand news from the Houston Astros champion, IT is very important to leave a like for YouTube to continue publishing this first-hand information for you. Astros face stiff competition for Jose Abreu on the free agent market. MLB Rumors Jose Abreu to Astros is no sure thing. Abreu, 35, is from Cuba and owns a home in Florida just south of Miami. As Rosenthal points out, both the Rays and Marlins are two of the game's most conservative spenders, so a fit is not guaranteed with either club. With Houston owning the deepest pockets amongst the parties interested in a brew, it may be difficult for either Miami or Tampa Bay to pry him away from a club nearly guaranteed to be World Series contenders for years to come. Fan In your opinion, is Jose a brew a good fit for Houston? Yes or no? Leave your comment. Your opinion is very important for the biggest team, our Houston Astros. Subscribe to the channel and continue following the latest Houston news that I will be bringing on this channel. What did you think of this competition? Leave your opinion. Until the next video.